What's up, people? It's the Lyricist Lounge, and as you can see, Modo going topless. <laughs> Not in that way, though. Yeah, yeah, another edition of the Lyricist Lounge. I'm in the studio with my main man, Q. Q, have you waved? You know, I can't really see. I got my shades on. <laughs> All right, now, today, we have a special guest. And uh, as before, we're not going to let the cat out of the bag. I just want to talk about something real quick no pun intended real quick now there are a lot of rappers who are known for speed rhyming not everybody can do it and not everybody can do it very well those doing it not all of them are really good at it so I'm just going to talk about the guys who are top of their game back in the 90s there was a group called Bone Thugs and Harmony before them, there were other guys doing it, but they really took it to another level. And they kind of like inspired a whole lot of other people to use the style, the speed rapping, even though at that point in time, there was Twister and the Speed Nuts. Twister is another crazy speed demon, but he does his own in a different way. Like if you have heard the song Kanye West did, uh, overnight celebrity Twister was on that song and he took it to another level they can rhyme on slow beats what they do is that the slower the beat the better it is for them to go fast on like in the south the hi-hats actually they follow the speed of the hi-hats while rappers like Rick Ross will probably just follow the speed of the kick and the snare and these guys are truly talented young men Right about now in Nigeria, who did we have in Nigeria? Back in the day, we had Idris Abdul Karim. Hate it or love it, he had a certain style that was kind of like, you know, it was faster than usual. Right about now, we have other young guys who are good at speed rhyming. And they're coming up, and it's a good thing, only that speed rhyming, you can actually escape saying nothing. But sometimes, like someone like Buster Rhymes, when he does it, and you sit down and listen or you slow it down you actually find out that he's using words Twister uses words that's hip hop 101 let's see if you guys can catch up and do some speed rhyming of your own after this edition of the Lyricist Lounge we'll play some videos and we'll be right back yo we bring it back again we back ho oh, Axel Jim Duggan alright I played three videos. Speed rapping. That's what I want to talk about. He actually started flipping, flipping and flipping. And it's very difficult to do that. To make sense and speed rap at the same time, make it sound nice, it's a difficult thing. After that, we had the king of speed rapping in Nigeria. His name is Uzi Kwendo with the song Usiso. Usiso. Now, that was some incredible, incredible speed rapping right there. And he happens to be our guest. Now, as far as I can remember, back in the 90s, they had groups like Bone Thugs and Harmony. They had um, Twister and the Speed Knots. Was it Speed Knots? And um, we had, there, was some other, there were some other guys good at it. And when Timberland brought the do, 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 rappers who weren't really used to doing speed rhyming started jumping on. Even Nas had a track where he was doing some speed rhyming. Jay-Z, back in the day, Jay-Z used to rhyme fast too. Uh, rappers like uh, it was Nas, Jay-Z, then Busta Rhymes. Now Busta Rhymes is one rhymer who can jump on slow tracks, mid-tempo tracks, and he has mastered the art of speed rhyming. So today you're gonna see a lot of speed rhyming because our special guest is Uzi Quendo, the king of speed rhyme in Nigeria. We'll go, we'll come back. We have a and we're gonna put him under pressure. And after that, he's gonna show us why he's a king 
a speed rhyme. You know, be joy, joy. No, four bars, ch, four bars, ch, four bars, ch. Then you have a speed rhyme, studio work, none of that. You're gonna see him do it live, right here, on the lyricist now. Put it down. Like mechanics. Use the eye. Use the eye. Was it quite Yes. Eye. It is time to introduce yourself. Okay. Use the eye. Uh huh. AKA Mr. Stay Stuttin'. That's me. AKA Mr. Kamoxa Road. Now maybe that. AKA Mr. Fast Forward. Baby, baby, baby. Oh. Yes, he's here. Superman. Who's the Quando? K Quanu. What's going on? Quanu K. Doing good. Oh, Quanu K. I like, that. I like that. We got Uzi in the building. Yes, yes. And Uzi is into fitness. And you all just saw his video. And uh, he just showed you guys how to speed run. Now, I'd just like to ask Uzi a couple of questions because I know a lot of people like. I, I was watching your video, sister, one day. And I was watching it with a lot of people. And one Igbo girl was like, uh uh. What's Niki? What in this bros they talk? Oh, just they go bara 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 and yama yama. Check them in the walls in the talk. I be enjoy the yama yama yama. So a lot of people want to know when did you start doing this? And you know it's, it's it's very difficult to do. And when did you actually master it? From the time that you just say okay, I'm gonna start rapping fast. And when did you? How long did it take you to master it when you started? First, let us know when you started it, and then how long did it take you to master that art? Well. um as far as I can remember, I've been rapping fast, and um, I would say 95, 6, 7. John! But I'm very young though, I'm very young. How, did it take, how long did it take you to master it? Uh, I really can't say. So you just started and you were good? No, 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 no. Everything takes step by step. You know, I, I was getting faster and faster. Oh, okay. I was getting faster and so, faster. Uh, like, let's say normal people, when they rhyme, mm -hmm. they use just a normal sheet, like 60 leaves, <laughs> just right there. How many pages do you use? Like, yeah. because you're using so many words. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how do you write? Do you write bar by bar or you just write it? Like, how do you write? I write bar by bar, you know, and, um, you know, people make fun of me, they say, oh man, R16 is like your 36, you know, 60 this, you know, because yeah, actually it's true because I put a lot of words in what I'm saying, but um, it's just, I just write, you know. How long does it take you to memorize one verse? Sometimes it takes three days, sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes five days, you know, and that's one thing with me. I usually don't memorize the whole verse just like that. Many people can. You know, and I thought about it, I'm like, okay, well, people that rap slow and not too fi fast, you know, they can just memorize everything like that. But me, it takes me some time. Like, um, do you have to constantly... What's well, funny like... is that I actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know I actually what? do that. Back in the day when I used to just write rhymes and try to learn them, that has always been my, you know, weakness. Learning the rhymes. I'm very good at writing, I write a lot. Okay, okay. So trying to learn them I'm just look and I'm, I just look. I have to recite it. Some yeah. people don't have to, they just keep yeah. writing and saying it. Do you, exactly. Are you one of those guys that don't recite it, you just say it in your head? I say it in my head and I say it out. You know, I practice the way I want it to sound. I say it in my head constantly, I say it out, but usually it comes, I, I, I remember it faster when I say it out. Yes, yeah. I heard that first much. Because, yeah. you know, and when you say it out, like, I was working then, and I had this big room to myself, and my room was like, on the way to the kitchen, you have to pass my room. Okay. And every time my mom passes my room, she said, Ha, you have started the <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, she would say, who is in the room with you? Yeah, 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 <laughs> and it's just yeah. me practicing my rhymes. And like, she said, who are you talking to? Yeah. As I'm practicing my rhymes, she said, for what? You know, it's, like, it's always funny to actually, like, for a long time, I didn't like people watching me write. Okay. I didn't want anybody to watch me write. Are you like that? Do you like, are you comfortable writing when people are around? See, uh, because while you're writing, you have to do. Yeah. See, when I, I write. Funny when I write, actually, I like. Being, I like sounding the way I want it to sound exactly. Mm -hmm. 
And sometimes when people are around me, maybe like it has to be someone I really know. Yeah. Then I'll be comfortable. But I notice that when I'm around people that I don't really know, when I'm writing, I start whispering. You know. <laughs> and that actually makes it more fun. You know, I start whispering and they're all looking sometimes I'm like, what's he saying? And I'm like, you know, and like what am I saying? What am I saying? But but I notice that though. I like I, I like writing and rapping it out loud. I like I like spitting loud, I like moving around. I make so many faces. I, I do so uh -huh. many, you know, I do so many things, you know. Now, a lot of people like people who rap like we have they have different styles. Like the other day who was who was saying it, um is it he says he, he likes okay, he was iceberg. Okay. Iceberg slim said he likes the phone, the, the lights to go off. Okay. And he only writes on his phone. Mm. You know, and that's when he's in the vocal booth. You know, if the lights go off and write on your phone, the phone has light. Yeah. So yeah. you can you can actually voice. Yeah. So what is your is it, what ritual do you have like when you want to voice? Okay. Well, are you the type do you voice sitting down or do you voice standing? Um, I like I like standing because like I said, when I perform I have a lot of energy. So when I'm recording, I'm always moving. I'm always moving, I got the energy, I, I'm bouncing, so as a matter of fact, I like turning off the lights too if I'm not writing on paper, if I'm not using a paper and pen. I just can you read down from a phone? Oh can yeah, you? oh yeah, yeah. What type of phone do you use? <laughs> Don't give them promo. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah, causing yeah. them on the phone, you have to give them money. Yeah, the that's Chuck Lewis' money. The Uzi phone. That's, uh -huh. that's what I so use. So you just be yeah. like... You know, I just, I just, you know... Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just move up and just how do you, How do you concentrate on rapping and... You know what's funny though? I have bad eyes, so I wear glasses. Oh. Yeah, I wear glasses, you know, so when I'm reading, I put on my glasses and, I, and it's clear, and I just, I think my brain is used to going that fast. That means you must have practiced. On Do the you, phone? Have you ever, have you ever uh, got into a studio and be like, yo, Uzi, feel this beat, you like it? We're all voicing it now. Yeah. And you've done that. Oh yeah. And oh, then yeah. you've written oh, a yeah. fast rap to it and voiced it. On the spot. I've written a fast song, the whole song, and recorded in less than 45 minutes. You know, Damn. you know, just bam, just go in there. I hear the beats. I'm like, oh, I really like this beat. Right? Should I write to it? Yeah. Boom. Right, 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 right. I'm ready. And I was like, well, you're ready. I'm ready to go. So the, there. the reason why we're talking about your style more is because it's kind of well, even though some people have done it, but the in Nigeria. I haven't really heard anybody who does it like you. So that's why I'm in When I listen to, to songs, I'm like, how does this guy do this thing? Because I know just um, cramming something that's just easy, like, you know, it, it's worth, man. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. 16 bars can actually take you quite a while if you're that kind of person. Who's yeah. So I'm like, your 16 is like 44. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. if you can cram 10 songs, 10 of yours, you okay, what's an Uzi? A Uzi concert, like, like, uh, okay, I know you're into fitness, so I know you won't get tired after performing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But if there's somebody who isn't fit in rams like you, what do you think will happen to the person? I think they would get very tired easily, you know. So, um, for me, I, I have that energy burst, you know, so I'm always jumping around, talking to the crowd, moving around, running everywhere. Now, it's always good to have a hype man. Because yeah. you know, you know, I'm, I'm fit and I'm always ready to go. My uh, my stamina is heavy. So your hype man has to match you. Exactly. It has to be somebody who's fit too. Yeah, he has to be. Do you ready prefer to go. a shorter hype man, a taller hype man? I don't even care as long as you're fit and you can match oh, my what energy. What about female? That'd be really great. Mm. What about, what about a midget? <laughs> yeah, that would bring more that attention. Will, that, will, that, will, that will be crazy. Yeah. Like who's the And then the midget has your hair style. Yeah. And he's wearing the same thing as you, and he comes out, and, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then you come out, and you're doing the same thing as you know what? Though, I'm actually like, giving him some ideas. Ideas so, right now. Well, yeah. you see, it, just know he has paid. So, um, all right, now I was gonna ask something again. Um, your, you know, your, your style of rap is like, you know, it takes a lot of energy to do it on stage. Mm -hmm. So, is there any way you can just um, let one of your little trade secrets out, like? how you conserve energy like i was talking to someone else and the person was like when he raps on stage and he's getting tired he bends down okay like this like pretend like so yeah. it actually pushes the air 
Mm. Especially when you when you want to start rapping, uh, uh, but let's say your rap is just normal, mm -hmm. but then you want to go into a complicated, but mm -hmm. but but you just rap go go down. Uh. Yeah. So what tips do you have? See, for you mean tips for rapping fast or tips for just, just rapping? Just for like when you're getting tired or yeah. when you have to push the words to the limit. See my. Do I do a lot of cardio. Do you, do you do the Exactly, I do that. And for you to be able to do that to keep on going, you have to have good lungs. You know, I run every day. You smoke? No. I so that means you're trying to say that somebody who is a heavy smoker can't do this? You never know. You know, I think heavy smokers so who twist the smoke? Do it. I, I don't want dogs and how many smoke? Yeah, exactly. So how do they do that? But they don't run around on stage while they're rapping. Okay, true. You know, oh, just, so you run around, so that's a difference of us when smokes and he runs around. Not anymore. <laughs> he doesn't smoke anymore? No, he doesn't run around anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, he's he's my size. Oh my god. I but, think Buster's a bit bigger than me. Right yo, he's now. way bigger than you right now. Way? Yeah, yeah. You serious? Yeah, he's way. James fam! Mm -hmm. Lose weight fam! But we still love you. We still love you. Alright, so who's your own hearts one? I know you're fit and all that. Okay. But how do you fare under mental pressure? I'm not talking about physical pressure. I know you Shaolin monks, you know, and all that. Yeah. Have that meditation and it, but how do you feel under pressure? Like, like literally, yeah. Yeah. Like you, you just said, you know, pressure. I, I meditate a lot. So you know, when I'm under pressure, hold that. Thought. Right about now, we're gonna take Uzi to the pressure room. I just oh. told him to hold that thought. We're gonna take him to the pressure, pressure room and let's see. He's going to meditate his way out of the questions I'm oh going to ask. Oh my God. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>